Well, good day, Tubes. Welcome back to the next issue of Princess Auto Fire. What in the crap is that? That's a welding helmet. I almost need that, but I don't need that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what are they going to come up with next, eh? Crazy people! Anyways, what do we got this week? So this is from June 11th, coming up to the 23rd. Two weeks sale. And what have we got here? Straps? No, good for straps. No tank? No. Uh, welding helmet? Well, maybe. 12,000 BTU portable air conditioner. $299. That's not terrible, too bad. Uh, uh. Auto card? No. Oh, nice camp chairs. Camp lanterns, camp stoves, holding camp table. This must be the camp spot. And some nice cast iron. They're going to tell you in 50 years, Oh gosh, you should have never used all that cast iron frying wire, frying pan stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they're going to say about uh, sunscreen. Uh, anyways, that's kind of a neat idea for a dump cart, but I bet you it is good for dumping leaves, and that's about it. You'd probably wreck it with dirt by the kind of looks of it, but eh, it's, you never know. These are kind of neat. There's a guy that actually makes stuff like this. Not too far from here, but uh, it would cut you anything out of a piece of steel with a plasma cutter. CNC plasma. What the? I thought that was real. CO2 Peacemaker. Look at the price of it, though, way. Eh? Wow, you must have bought a real one. 200 bucks more, you'd probably buy a real one. <laughs> Anyways, fishing boat. This must be a Father's Day flyer. Going seasonal. Oh, there's pressure washers again. They're really trying to get rid of them. <laughs> I think they might have got a little mistake getting those and trying to sell them because they're too much. Too much for what it is. Dog. Hmm. Um, oh, it's a project showcase. I see. That's pretty neat. If you go on their website, you can see the project showcase. And actually... The 110 TLB is on there with the thumb. I uh, submitted that and they put it on their project showcase. It's quite a piece back now, but yeah, they, uh, I don't know, these maybe aren't tremendously great units. I don't know. I've never tried them. Maybe they're great units. I don't know. Never tried one, but uh, pretty expensive for a heated pressure washer. Uh, if you remember last time we looked at a wall mounted electric pressure washer, uh, it was like really expensive. Like 2300 bucks or something stupid. Really expensive. I went and saw one at the store there. And it is like huge. It's a freaking huge pressure washer. So you'd have to probably plug it into, I don't, know, I don't know. But huge power. I don't think it's like a three phase or nothing. But it's pretty huge. Uh, anyways, what do we got here? We got dogs. No, these are dog toys. Really? Dog toys? Princess Auto? Come on. I'm looking more like this stuff. Hitch pins and stuff. But anyways. Hitch pin, pumps, pressure tanks, three inch gas pump. Oh, that's kind of like the one I got. Sort of, kind of, yeah, I like it. It works great. It actually pumps pretty good. Pretty good water. Oh, get back here. What else we got here? Another pump? One inch. Oh, well, I wouldn't pump too much, probably. So does it tell you? 2,520 gallons per hour, and I think the three inch does 1,600 and something thousand gallons an hour it's quite a bit more spray and stuff no three-point hitch oh what is that that's neat middle buster wow that'd be neat if you uh could make me make that plowy guy a little smaller and you could actually like plow in uh for a water line oh i should have shut my door look skeeters freaking mosquitoes coming in the door uh, anyways, we'll keep going here. The landscape drag harrow. Oh, that's kind of neat. And uh, lawn sweeper. I got, actually got one of those, but it's not quite like that. It's a land pride. The orange one. And it works good. Fans. Fans, 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 fans. This must be a hot time of year for fans. Micro bay. Micro bead travel pillow. Um, pretty good for that. Some good lights there. Halogen. No, 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 no. Stay away from halogen. It's all about the LEDs now. <laughs> Halogens are a thing from the 80s and 90s. T 
TV stuff, plugs and cables and sort of rubber band toys, okay. Air, 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 soft pistols, mm. lightning cables, probably don't even work with the phones. <laughs> solar power, solar power bank, that might be kind of cool, but I'm good. There's a can crusher, bottle opener, can crusher, mobile phone, bottles. Ooh, Prairie House Chicken Coop. Ooh, a roof puller tree looks kind of small. 30 inches long by 82 wide. I guess wide is left to right and 30 inches by 30 inches high. That's not terrible too small. 180 bucks though. Seems like a lot. Of st I'm, I must be stuck in like the 90s with prices because everything I look at is like, wow, so expensive. But here in Canada, some smart stupid person thought it would be a good idea to go from like whatever the minimum wage does to like $14 oh that's great that's great if you're the one making that money but it's not great for places that you know like this that have to now charge more to be able to pay that person that much more so I mean it's a lose-lose situation yeah it's great to make more but then you know what you go to the store to buy your groceries you're paying three times as much as last year so I mean really but anyways rant <laughs> Ooh, fans. Need some of them for my computer. And of course we got some trailer stuff. Trailer hitches and another pressure washer. 3100 PSI. That's interesting. Looks like one of those crappy bottom mount ones when it breaks it goes in the garbage. Oh, more trailer stuff. Ooh, those are like the tires I've got on the uh, Mini X trailer. They work good. Uh, one, I've got a weird leak in it. Every once in a while, it just goes flat. It'll be good for a month. And all of a sudden, just pfft, next day, flat. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's just the way it parks. Whatever. I don't know. That's cool. More trailer hitchy stuff. Trailer hitches. Oh, air conditioning kits to recharge. I remember one time, you couldn't buy those anywhere. Now, they're all over the place. Princess Auto sells individual cans, and they have, like, shelves of them. So, anyways. Some gloves. Grease Monkey Mittens. There you go. Nerd Tile Gloves. Some jacks and some hydraulic hydraulic pneumatic ATV lift. That's pretty cool. Probably wouldn't lift mine, though, does it say? No, it doesn't say much to lift. Oh, 1,500 pounds. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. That should do mine. I think mine's about 800 pounds. 1,500 pound ATV now. Oh boy, driving a pickup truck. Oh, engine lifters, shop cranes, them uh, scanning deweys, battery testers and batteries. I would never probably buy a battery from there. I <laughs> checked date codes on one once and it was already four years old. I'm like, it's pretty much junk now, bud. But anyways. Hand truck, that's good. It's got bigger wheels. The rolls nicer. Uh, cleaning stuff. Oh, that's not too bad. I want to get something like that for the slingshot. Oh, he's greasing up. Uh, back of a bucket. Sorry, just seen that out of the corner of my eye. Uh, I want to get something like this. Either that or a hand pumper. And I want to get tools to put in the slingshot for pulling out and plugging a tire and then I can pump the tire back up, right? So something like that I don't have yet. I also want to get another, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, boosting pack for that slingshot too, because you get out somewhere and well, you're not bump farting that thing. Oh, six piece, they gotta be real chintzy for 900 bucks. No, I don't know if so. That would look nice in here, but no. Uh, nice storage, though. Nice to have more storage. But 900 bucks. I don't know. I bet you they're. Oh, you know what? I bet you they come in a million pieces. You have to put them all together. I wouldn't want to be doing that either. I do have a shelf up here now, though. See my shelf? Oh, yeah, buddies. Got a shelf. Probably too much on it, but I freed up my bench a little bit, right? Besides these extra bolts. Anyways, back to the flyer. Getting off topic. Micro air die grinder. Sweet. We heard these things aren't too bad. 
hydraulic air rotor rickets, you're doing a bunch of them. Doing a bunch of them, I might be all right. But, um, ooh, is that? No, that's a little bit smaller than the one I own down there. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. Still pretty good air delivery. 17 CFM at uh, 175 PSI. I just don't have uh, 220 power here other than my generator. I don't really want to be running that for running that. It probably wouldn't run that, actually. I don't know. Depends how many amps that thing needs. Anyways, sandblast cabinet. Sweet. Mine works pretty good. Yeah, and some steppy drill things. I've never, I've wanted to try step drills before, but not from there. I don't know. They just look like they'd probably drill maybe once, and then it'll be it. You have to get a good quality one. Look at the, look at these bits. Three hundred twenty-seven pieces. If you got to drill that many holes in something, you got a problem there, bud. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're very handy. Let's say, uh flute designed for faster, smoother, cleaner cuts and say what it actually contains. Oh, some sockety stuff. Toolbox. Hip roof toolbox. Okay, then. Oh, man, we're almost out of pages. Wow, look at this plier set. Let's just uh, have a look at all these for a minute. 70 bucks seems a little cheap. Cheap. But the handles on them look like the ones I don't think I've got. Yeah, look, I got one here maybe. Let's do some comparison. It's black, blue, black, blue. Let's see here. Kind of close. More black along the edges. Well, you know what? I think that's fairly fairly close. This is a side cutter. It kind of looks like one of them two right there. Maybe let me zoom in. Maybe this way. Kind of looks like that. No, it's a little bit different on the handle, I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Sweet. Coping saw. Little mini zombie killing hatchet thingy. Some ranches. Some safety guy. Some safety high vis things. Glasses. Safety harnesses. Ooh. Screw extractor. Well, that's anything yet I need, so this file, this might go in the G file, this one, but yeah, never know. Oh, horns. Solenoids. Some seats. What? Bench seats. That's kind of cool. And ladder rack. Huh. Pro Point stuff they have at Princess Auto. It's not too bad of stuff, really. 10,000 pound lashing tie down strap. That's not too bad. I got a couple of those things there. They're pretty handy for going around axles and stuff. Let's strap them down. Never got into this kind of stuff, the e track stuff. Ramps for ETVs and stuff. Some jacks. Some more tires. It looks kind of like eh, a little different, I guess. Does it look like that other one? Oh, look. Leveling ramps for your travel trailer. Polyfoam chalk, really? Wow. Hitch mount cargo thing. Oh, look at the size of the wire thing now. I think I got one and it's got three shells on it, but it's not maybe as big as that. <laughs> Man, they change them all the time, eh? Doesn't really say kind of what kind of wires on it, but eh. Pretty good for 65 bucks. That's a fair bit of wire in there, but it's good stuff. Trailer harnesses, rubber rubber wiring drums. Oh, you don't often see them for sale. Ooh, stick welder. Nope, don't like stick welding. I do, but it's so dirty and messy. It's good for dirty, messy stuff. That's the only thing. I do have a stick welder, but I don't hardly ever ever use it. It actually, there's something wrong with the power that I use. That I run it on. It keeps popping the circuit, even though I'm not really juicing it too hard. So I don't know. It's maybe a smaller, smaller, smaller wire or something. It's, I don't know what's wrong with it. But I got into the MIG welding stuff, and then that was it. Oh, we got some engines. Wow, those Hondas are sure expensive. No, twenty five hundred dollars for a twenty two horse. 
Holy cow. You know, I'll stick with my uh, little crappy gas ones. I think those uh, power crystals aren't too bad. Oh, man, that was our last page. Oh, what do we got on the back? Sometimes there's good junk. A little postal logger in a fireplace. Nope, that is it. So I don't see anything in there that I need. But anyways, put those tools back. Good looking. Thanks again for watching. And I'll catch y'all later.